what's up guys welcome back to another video as you can see in the background we got some stuff going on at the shop today we're actually going to start prepping for the the foundation the the footing area for the paint booth so that's what we got the tractor for oh so this trailer is just mine it's in the way right now but yeah you know we're gonna be uh knocking this thing out it's a little tractor there i'll give you a little walk around real quick of what we're gonna be doing obviously you got roscoe with us so anyways we have a 17 um by 24 pad going in right here paint boots a little bit smaller than that obviously we just go a little bit wider so we can get a covering over the top so uh this pad right here it's kind of uh in a weird spot we're probably gonna have to extend this out a few feet to um square it up with the door we have to be three three feet off the building for uh um permit purposes but um we're gonna be cutting this down we do have ramps going into the paint booth but it's not um <clears throat> it's not gonna I think this is going to work a lot better just being able to drive off this pad straight into the paint booth which is why we got to extend this a little bit more and uh, cut this down like 12 inches so we're close you know we probably got about four or five inches to go and we were going to put concrete down but I think we're just going to compact this and then um, frame it all up we're going to put pressure treated wood or two by four whatever underneath these um, floor supports just to keep everything nice and square but uh this underneath this ground it's pretty hard already but we'll vibe a plate it and get all that stuff done so that's where we're at today just waiting for chris to get here and uh yeah we'll get started and if you guys haven't liked the videos or subscribed yet please do and when you guys do subscribe make sure you comment below saying that you did subscribe that way we can stay on a per more personal note you know stay in contact with each other you know, I will respond back to you once you once you do hit the subscribe button and comment below. Um, we've been saying that's been working really, really well. So again, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and comment below just saying subscribed, and we will get back to you. I promise. Test me with that. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video today, and we'll see you soon. see that got the floor cleaned up i forgot to let you guys know we were doing this today too scraping this it like a, i don't know if it was like a mason some type of uh concrete guy in here before but uh it made that floor you can see right here it just left everything out here so we just let it dry up well we didn't let it dry up they did we'll just come out here and scrape it all with the bucket that's what we've been doing before we go cut that pad for the um, cut the pad for the um, paint booth so that's what we're doing inside here right now get crazy and dirty so hope you guys are enjoying
change of plans. <laughs> so yesterday when we were talking, we were going to be running the booth from here all the way down that way, 23, 24 feet down, which is going to obviously be the long ways of the booth. And then we'd come out, what was it 17 feet yeah, off the building? Are. Yeah, it's where the stakes are at. I don't know if you guys can see those. Corner out. But now we're going to turn it. So we'll come over here. Well, why are we turning it, Jared? So that that concrete we pad. Have, we have a three foot standoff. We have to correct, turn, which is that stake. Yep. Right. But then we have four feet of equipment. So now that's seven feet, which is my left foot here. That pushes us out quite a bit. Yep. So it's only a couple feet difference to turn it and have it this way and hinge it from that side, which we can put the Mandor anywhere. Yeah. So we'll just put the Mandor on that side, plus it gives us this concrete pad for all the other equipment. The blowers, whatnot, can all be over there. Kind of makes a bit more sense. And then that sucks us in toward the edge is again, my foot. Yep. So then we have all this space over here, which is actually enough to park a vehicle, whatever we might need. Yep. Yeah, I think that the uh, it'll work good. I the hope only, I it. <laughs> yeah, the only downside, and you guys can leave comments below, is if I walk over here, you guys can see it. We're coming from this concrete pad. Obviously, the door is over on the other side of this little shed, so we were only pushing from here to here, just flat. We could push a car. Now we're going to be going downhill so talking about putting a winch in it i think it will work fine we're just doing these bronco bodies and whoever else is going to use it we'll figure it out but i think that's going to be the easiest way so we're going to get to it real quick get this thing all marked out and get this tractor cut this gravel out of here so hope you guys are enjoying the the video so far this around you know our border we're gonna fig go around measure figure out where our high spots are where we need to bring it down obviously over there right in this area where that string is um, it is 10 inches on that side and five inches over on this side so this obviously needs to go down quite a bit um, depending this ground is really hard um, underneath this gravel so depending on what's going on we'd like to have it toward that side uh, is we bring everything down to that level through all of this and then that way for our entrance coming in we can just use the ramps that come with the booth rather than building something else up right yep so uh, Hold up, you guys. 10 inches there over here we're looking at 13 so about three inches lower so we'll bring that up to the 10 and a half eight and nine and a half so we just have a little bit of scraping to do out of here to bring it down to the tank i mean that's nine and a half where it's a little high here in the middle over here that's five but we know this whole side is high so i don't think it's really that much to do if we just try to get it all to 10 inches below the string line yep uh, so that's bringing us up three inches on that side, leveling it out through here, bring a bunch out of here, and get that down to, to 10. And then that will give us, it'll make it perfectly level, make it to where you just use the supplied ramps, so we can go from there. Good deal. Well, stay tuned guys, we'll get this thing uh, cut out of here real quick.
Yeah. All right, Jared, how do you feel? I'm good. I think it's been we... a long time since I've been in one of these. <laughs> so I guess we'll see uh, how close it is now. Do we have the laser level here anywhere? Yeah. I just thought about that while you're on the tractor. <laughs> Why do we put up strings? <laughs> yep. In the shop. Yeah. <coughs> My laser level is down in Rockland, so. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're going to do. Grab the laser level. See where we're at. See if there's any more we need to uh, bring this down. Mind you, we are going to be running a compactor across this, so that's going to take up, you know, anywhere from half an inch to two inches depending on how soft some of these areas are so down there uh where it does seem to be a little high that is all going to compact but over here it's super hard so we just want to make sure that we're good there um, we can do a little tuning up with the uh, with the shovel and then uh we'll go from there guys that's a wrap for today obviously you can see it was a lot of work being done today got this pretty much all leveled out tomorrow we'll add some more some of that gravel down um, we're gonna throw some plastic down and uh, or a fabric just to make sure the dust and stuff isn't gonna come flying up through this thing so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the video if you guys have not subscribed or hit the like or the notification bell please do and if you do hit the subscribe button, which we really hope you do, please make sure you comment below and uh, I'm, I'll just say that you subscribed and we will get back to you. I will personally send you a message right back. And uh, yeah, we just want to stay up to date with everybody. You know, we're here to answer any questions. If you guys have any questions, just make sure you email us at info at mbimotorsports.com again that's info at mbimotorsports.com and we hope you guys have a good evening and stay tuned for the next video